Hello and welcome to another episode of Dice Ninjas! And today we are going to do an unboxing of Henchmania. <laughs> Henchmania is, well, I'll read the description on the back side. Beco become a medieval lord surrounded with fawning henchmen eager to do your bidding in your quest for prestige. 130 cards, 40 pawns, 5 mini boards, 5 score meters, 1 badge of honor pawn, customized dice, rule book, etc. Uh, this is the deluxe set uh, from the Kickstarter. Uh, it says it's Hansmania exclusive deluxe edition and all applicable stretch goals. So this is supposed to be uh, an exclusive oversized game board, 32 exclusive meeples, exclusive big box and all the stretch goals. So let's see what the fuss is all about, shall we? This is a game for two to five players, age 12, 45 to 60 minutes, which usually means a little more than that, perhaps, as well. There we go. Nice looking box. There are types of great unrest. So this is uh, the rules. He seems to do. He see. This seems to be the uh, the henchmen and the different colors: gray, green, blue, brown, and yellow. And um, I'm guessing that you're supposed to glue this on the meeples. We are building something today, I imagine. Here's the first player token. I. I think I remember this, that, uh, that this is supposed to be that. Um, and something else. Here are the... Uh, um, this is some sort of... It's a dial from 0 to 30. Four of them. Uh, obviously for four players. I think there's supposed to be a fifth one, right? Yeah, two to five players. Uh, so we're looking for the uh, another one as well. But these are the different houses that the henchmen are um, obediently working for and uh, their undying loyalty is with these houses, I guess. Seems to be some city card, nothing on the back side. Um, more punch boards, more city cards. Ooh, a very nice, some sort of coin. A lot of these. Ah, so you, uh, you're building the, uh, some sort of round building it like this right and each time there can be different cities with uh, uh, which has different uh, ways of uh, of winning the game I reckon ah here's the uh, there seems to be have been done some punching <laughs> before us so here's the fifth player with a fish this little one. Oh, is the ex um, something nice to put the uh, meeples in or something? This is some sort of system to um, 
to all this for the box uh, as well. This my ah oh, yeah. Here we have the uh, the henchman meeples that we're supposed to put the uh, uh, the stickers on. Not normal dice because there's there's some sort of symbol on some of them, as you can see. And here's the meeples for the fifth player. Yeah. Shall we open the cards? Different colors. Could it be for the different uh, for the different uh, players? A glove challenge uh, challenge to a duel. Several of gloves to which you can challenge someone. Seems to be almost all the red ones. Then there's the porter. When you set a henchman pawn, you can discard this card to earn an initial spot on a site which is already full. So there's obviously a different henchman uh, that has. Ah, there's three cards of that. So that's red. <clears throat> there's purple. That's a lot more henchmen. The choir boys. <laughs> As you can see. Oh, Providence. This is a trump card. Hmm. At any time you can rotate this card and re-roll one of your several dice. Nice. Okay. So there's, um, there's another trump card and a huge bunch of new uh, henchmen as well. I'll open the second one here. Ah, so here's some more red ones. Public Nosy Parker, Pothecary, Pillory. So there's even more and there's a trump card as well. So that's nice, I thought it was a little mean towards the red one otherwise. A dagger, sir. Oh please, take this dagger. This is the blue player and there's a green player as well. Green cards, at least. Rearrange it a little bit like this, so you can see the nice things I got here. Seems like there's a few cards on some quick rules as well. Could come in handy, right? Seems to be. Ah, here's the, uh, here's the, the last player, the fifth player. I see we already have five, but I'm guessing that one of them is neutral or something like that. The artwork is brilliant. <laughs> the trump card for that. But it also seems to be some sort of special card, which I'm, which I'm guessing is the... Or, or the, uh, the stretch goes. So there's a single card, which is the ox. And here's some more cards for each of them. For the blue, pigeon, helm, mace, round shield, coat of mail. I'm just gonna put them in the right way. Or should I? No. I'll wait a bit. 
mutt, gossip, traitor, drunkard. A single one for for the purple one. It says tomcat, and it's <laughs> what cats us cats usually do, showing up, uh, showing their uh, behinds. Another one for yellow, and several ones for red. Mule, falconer glove, gauntlet, silk glove. There seems to be a lot of gloves involved when it comes to the red one. Hunting glove. Very nice. Okay, so that is it, I think. That's the unboxing of Henchmania. It looks very nice. Uh, I think uh, this might be um, a very enjoyable game. I like it, the fact that uh, the different sides have uh, the, the different sides have different skill sets and different henchmen. So the game will probably be uh, um, swaying from from one side to the to the other, being different every time you play it. Um, it looks very nice uh, and. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, please leave a like as well. If you're not a subscriber yet, just press the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Right here from Dice Ninjas. Bye bye. See you around.